As an essential part of every test centre, the headlamp aligner sits at the end of most bays as the last check to complete the MOT. Regulations have altered slightly as of March 2016 and we saw the latest update from the DVSA's testing standards for the headlamp alignment aim test. The changes were implemented when it came back to the DVSA's attention that headlamp aim constantly tops the MOT compliance survey as one of the most likely items to be assessed incorrectly by testers. The changes were implemented to reduce errors and increase test consistency. The correct headlamp alignment is paramount to ensuring the vehicle's safety standards. So here's an overview of how to install and use the latest DVSA approved headlamp aligner from VTEC. Fitting your headlamp aligner. The aligner sits on parallel rails so that it can easily and accurately be moved from headlamp to headlamp. The rails must be dead level so the ground the rails are attached to must be flush and care taken over any required civil work. When the rails have been tested in situ to ensure they are level, they are secured in place and the rest of the aligner is set up ready for testing. Aligning the headlamps to the aligner. The front of the vehicle must be squared up to the aligner. This is checked using the topmost laser on the unit. A second laser is then used to find the center of the headlamp being tested. The beams are turned on and now can be checked against the target inside the aligner's main section. The target screen at the back of the main box will appear like this. There are two tolerance bands, one outlined in red for headlamps up to 850mm from ground level and one in blue for headlamps greater than 850mm in height. When the headlamp beam is turned on and shone through the lens at the front of the box, its image, in most cases, will appear like this on the target screen. Horizontal Cutoff The horizontal cutoff dictates the correct height for the headlamp beams. If it is too low, then the beams will not illuminate enough of the road for the driver. Dazzle Zone As the name suggests, this is an area of the target that, if covered by the beam pattern, shows that the headlamp would dazzle oncoming traffic. This is up in the right-hand corner of the target screen. Kick Up Up and to the left of the target, this is the area of illumination to the left front of the vehicle. Not all vehicles need to be concerned with this part of the test as some have flat headlamps with no kick-up. The only parameter for a pass in this part of the test is that the kick-up must appear somewhere on the target.